All right, ready to go here. Yeah, the batter now, John Birdie, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. The wide to kick the pitch. That one fouled off. Packed house here at Minute Maid. The shortstop takes the ball. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Still two and two after the foul ball. Fights it off. You'll see another. Two two on the way. And that one in the air center field. Puts it away for the out. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. And that one is inside. Line drive and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. DJ LeMahieu with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So, man aboard, and here is Anthony Rizzo. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Righty delivers. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Gets a piece and stays alive. On the ground foul and foul ball. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this battle. I'm just wondering no, that means, that's who's gonna blink first. Two balls, two strikes. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Chases that one out of the zone. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. This to third. Slings it across, and that'll do it. One left for the Yankees. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Houston, 
getting the nod in this one. Garrett Cole and singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting go. moment. Oh, he's got his family in town. I think base. this moment's going to be a huge okay. tone setter for his career. Oh, and there. stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Altuve officially joined the 2000 hit club in 2023 with every career hit as a Houston Astro third Two player in club history with 2000 hits and 200 home runs Jeff Bagwell Craig Biggio those are the two others and that's some great company boo spoils that one and it remains two and two the healthy cut tough pitch at 98 but a really good pass at the ball hacks and misses it's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a that power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much oh, spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. One down, base is empty. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just punched him up on Look the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it up front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And a pitch. And strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Jose Trevino. Wouldn't That's chase that time. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Next ball. pitch is outside. Our plate umpire, Freddie Ferguson. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. And a bounce ball. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, but these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. And he walked him. You know, Boog, it's been said, these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Here's Glaber Torres. The pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One and two. Count. The one, two. And another ball. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out here on opening day. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Glaber Torres with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, food. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Jemai Jones. The count two and one. <laughs> And a 
swing and a miss. And that is a big first down. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Two on, one out. Fought off foul. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. 2-2 two -two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. At the belt and fires. And that oh, one God. almost hit him. Straightened him up a little bit. Payoff pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. That one lifted to left. Makes the grab for the second out. Batting up. The doesn't have to hit it. No. So first and second with two outs. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Two outs. Well struck deep right field, way back, and out of here! You want to talk about kicking off your major league career with a bang. His first big league hit leaves the yard. He'll remember this trip around the bases for the rest of his life. Wow. He ought to. Usually guys are squeezing the bat so tight, trying to get that first hit out of the way. They can't get the ball out of the infield, boo, but not him. Maybe a glimpse of what's to come from him in the next few years. Good job. That's great confidence in the power right there. Most hitters would try to hook that ball to the pull side and hit it out of the park. He stayed back, let it travel, and hit it hard the other way. John Birdie at the plate. The pitch. Red Check swing, two. but he went too far. And it's one and two. One and two is the count. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that is that. Yankees with a three-run shot. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's Alex Bregman. Two and one now. And a foul ball. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And Count there's the a ball. ball. Down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. And he gets Bregman. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, he froze him with the changeup right there. And I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was 